We begin tonight with a question. How much time did Utah's Division of Services for People with Disabilities spend trying to restore a man accused of violating children on multiple occasions? Now, it's a question the Justice Files has spent months trying to get answers to, including fighting for a record Utah County officials refused to provide. For tonight's Justice Files, ABC4's Courtney Johns shows what went into that battle. Courtney? Sarah, all we wanted was a simple visitor's log, similar to this one that we got from Salt Lake County in a matter of days, but Utah County said this was an invasion of privacy. So we filed for a hearing before the state records committee. I got him. No. Okay, here. Let me go. I got him. Can I call my mom first? No. Bathrooms, locker rooms, and even mall dressing rooms. Were you masturbating? These are some of the places police say Jonathan Soberanis found victims. In almost all of these cases, a judge dismissed the charges, saying he wasn't competent to stand trial releasing him from jail. But after a federal investigation suggested he used a New Zealand storage platform to download and share child pornography with end-to-end -end encryption, a judge committed Soberanis to Utah's Department of Health and Human Services to restore him to competency. The department assigning a restoration treatment provider from the Division of Services for People with Disabilities to educate him on the court system. Mr. Soberanis has recently demonstrated some higher order thought, including showing some understanding that his recent actions should be hidden and an ability to take steps to cover his tracks. In less than four months, an evaluator determined the treatment was not working and the judge released Soberanis from the case. I am extremely concerned about the victims in this case. However, this court has to work within the laws of this state. And unfortunately, this is where we are left. The evaluation of Soberanis's restoration is not public. So we've requested something that is visible in virtually every jail in America. The visitor's log, something the Utah County Attorney's Office refused to provide. We're not asking for specifics on that treatment other than saying, how much time did you guys spend working to help this person? So we made our case before the State Records Committee. Knowing how many times he was visited, in theory, implicates how disabled this individual is. And that is, he, he does have an expectation of privacy on that regard. I think the public would like to know is, what is our state agency doing to either provide treatment for someone who desperately needs it, or providing enough information Watch to protect the yeah. public so that there are not any more victims. You're going to get more charges. I need a lawyer. So we argued Soberanis's competency became public the minute his defense presented it in court. And the state records committee ruled in our favor, releasing that visitor's log. So tonight at six, we'll have more on what we learned from that log, including who's responsible for helping him. Back to you.